Hey, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about ticker symbol CTRM, Castor Maritime Inc. We have been talking about this stock for a long time and we have been reviewing pretty consistently on my channel as well. In this video, particularly, I'll be talking about three things. The first one is we'll review one of these articles that talks about the short squeeze that is coming um, and I'll review step by step and I'll share the data about the uh, the 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 volume uh, short volume uh, in terms of the trading volume and short volume with you the second thing we'll do is we'll review the stock price uh, with the volume and the analysis at a very high level we'll look into rsi for last five days and talk about where the stock can go from here and the third thing is one of the two big big catalysts actually about ctrm that i want to talk about and i want to share more information as to where the stock can go from here so watch the full video consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already we talk about a lot of Penny stock, small stock, micro cap stock, and hyper growth stocks on this channel. So I want to make sure that you have information about the analysis and research I do. So consider subscribing to my channel. Click on the like button if you haven't already. It takes me a while to do this research, share this information with you, and post this video. Click on the notification bell if you have already subscribed so you can get timely updates as to when I post the video and share it to public. Uh, so watch uh, the full video if you want to know more about uh, what's going on with CTRM and what happened in last uh, last five days. I'm not a financial advisor. I do research and want to share with you. So just keep in mind that you have to do your own due diligence if you want to buy or sell CTRM or any other stock. This particular article talks about short squeeze coming for CTRM. This is a press release. Uh, and this is not uh, uh, the this particular website's uh, news department was not involved it is a press release provided by this financial company and this is not really an advice to buy or sell ctrm or any other stock now what it talks about is the savvy investors know that they will have to invest in micro cap or small cap stocks that we talk a lot more on this channel as well uh, basically they have catalysts coming up whether it's an fda approval whether it's uh, one more um, stock uh, earning for the company if there is a new technology that is involved that can game change the game for the company and uh, for the better of this world, so on and so forth. So this is what this article talks about. It also includes some of the hyper growth sectors like genomics. And we talk about BNGO that falls into the sector, semiconductor, 3D printing. We talk about NNDM in the sector as well. Electronic vehicles, we talk about like multiple stocks there. And there are some big catalysts, chance of getting FDA approval. Some of the LIDAR and SASS companies, LIDAR, we talked about FRSX, the foresight, autonomous, that's once again it's a penny stock we gained a lot of uh, good return in frsx when we reviewed uh, earlier this year or maybe late last year so frsx is one of the great example what this article basically talks about if you take a look is why we are excited now the company ctrm or castor maritime looking at this it's a it's a penny stock once again it's a very small uh, small market cap the company is profitable already in q3 the revenue company was profitable at one point but it is revenue positive at the moment i want to say in q3 the revenue was 2.79 million q2 2.59 million q1 273 million 2.73 million and q4 last year was 2.84 million which is where the net income was positive there more than the the net income was more than half a million dollar last year this year the company raised a lot more capital bought more vessels and it's a dryable shipping company it's a hyper growth oriented global shipping company with engaged in seaborne transportation of a wide range of dry bulk vessels so basically what company does is raise more capital buy more vessels more profitability and they keep the cycle on and on which means in a long run the company will be super profitable if they sustain the revenue if they sustain their profitability and that's what precisely what castor maritime does so why what we are excited about the company was already profitable and as i mentioned the company was founded in 2016 and in 2017 to 19 which is a rare case for the company because shipping company shipping business is a pretty tough business but the company was already profitable that's what the article talks about and the company and they also talk about uh, just what i mentioned in terms of uh, why the company was profitable and how they generated more revenue and more cash this article also talks about the castor maritime could rise uh, uh, in 2000 and, at the 2019 levels of seven or eight dollars now it also talks about the short squeeze that is coming uh, in ctrm 
Actually, I tried to find this data, but I could not really see a huge short volume. The short volume ratio is 28% as of 26th of uh, February, which does seem like pretty in line as to how the stock has been performing so far. If you take a look at the short volume, it was quite honestly 33 million on 23rd, 31 million 24th, and actually it is decreasing. So I do not see or foresee there could be a short squeeze in CTRM, but just wanted to share this data. Please do your due diligence because this is what I found on a free site without I do not have any login or premium account with this Fintel portal I also tried verifying on the market beat and I found similar data as well just I wanted to share but in general if you think about this company the company had the stock was closed at one dollar quite honestly it was closed at uh, 0 0.9990 so pretty close to one dollar almost one dollar uh, but one dollar level is pretty important for the stock as you can see for last uh, last five days right here the stock dropped from 1.23 dollar level to 99 cents and the stock was down 20 percent in last five days one month is 40 percent up six months pretty high 500 close to 500 percent up the stock price and right now one dollar price point is pretty important for stock because it is trying to regain the compliance from nasdaq now what we have to look into is they have the stock has to trade at one dollar or about for 10 consecutive business days now ctrm has already finished those 10 consecutive business days but we do not have official confirmation so we'll have to wait till we get official confirmation but the company has time until june 2021 so we don't have to really worry about it. it's not end of the world or the stock is not going to get delisted if they don't get uh, uh, the the regain the com compliance this time around they have more time uh, in future to regain the compliance so but i hope that uh, hopefully because it is consistently trading above one dollar so let's wait for a couple of days hopefully we'll get the confirmation for regaining nasdaq compliance for CTRM right now until we get the confirmation official confirmation the company is at risk of getting delisted from Nasdaq but that is going not going to be the case in uh, in upcoming days so we'll be able to find out the volume on the last trading day was 78 million compared to the average volume of 177 million looking at the chart if you take a look the barcoding happened after 12 o'clock on the last trading session one dollar one cent two cents or maybe one dollar and one dollar and one cent and the stock closed at uh, 99 0 0.9990 uh, level now the RSI looks pretty healthy more on the oversold side which will help the stock uh, ramp up it depends once again upon the market condition looking at the five-day chart as I mentioned the stock dropped right here and it was a significant drop of uh, close to 25 cents but then it uh, got back a uh, little bit higher right here at one dollar and 16 cents could not sustain went back and closed at almost at one dollar as I mentioned there are two big big catalysts one catalyst is to regain the compliance once it regains the compliance there will be more confidence there is no risk of it getting delisted from nasdaq so that's a huge compliance uh, that the stock will need to regain which hopefully they will and will be able to hear in the next couple of days as i just mentioned the second thing is which is again uh, one of the biggest catalysts is their earning for 2020 as we have seen that the company was in the in the positive direction in terms of the revenue even though there was a severe health uh, situation cv situation that we all know but the company uh, had more and more revenue so we'll have to look as to what they declare in terms of Q4 and the entire 2020 earning because the company had has been buying more and more vessels means more and more revenue in Q1 as well company raised a lot more capital and they bought a lot more vessels as well the company started from I believe before a few months from five or six vessels right now they have fifth, uh, about 12 to 13 vessels I I could not keep the count up but uh, that's what I believe that they're at 12 or 13 vessels in general so the company is pretty bullish they are raising more capital and that's how the 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 shipping industry works basically it's a cash savvy business basically you'll have to invest more and more money that's why the company is raising a lot more capital buying more vessels and hopefully it'll be more profitable in upcoming future now looking at the chart if you can take a look right here the stock was trading pretty high in 2019 at $6.40 dropped about to $2.70 $2.50 level got back up to three or four dollars level and then since then the stock has been dropping and uh, it was trading way below one dollar level 
quite honestly at 16 cents we started getting back up in 2000 late 2020 or early 2021 as you can see and it is uh, it went as high as two dollar and 90 cents i believe so it went as high as last uh, 52 weeks two dollars and 60 cents sorry to the two dollars and 60 cents level and uh, uh, after that the stock dropped which caused some of the concern if someone has bought at two dollars and 60 cents level the investment was cut in half um, and 99 cents right now um, so we'll see two big catalysts one is the earning another one is the regaining compliance from nasdaq so these are the catalysts that will watch out i'll keep you posted once again i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell ctrm or any other stock subscribe like and share this video with your friends and family thanks all for watching i'll see you in the next video